Hi, welcome to Kickback Garage. Today I've got another tool review for you and it's the Buzzweilometer Lambretta Ignition Timing Tool and Vespa and Vespa. Come back after the intro and I'll tell you all about it. Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. All sprung in log of a come under talk. In your novice back out to other forty frog for what to do or draw. Can we phone? Can I send and come at the house and took over? So we are the brother last summer. Welcome back. Today I want to tell you about the Buzzwanglometer, very Wallace and Gromit uh, ish. It's a funny name for actually quite serious tool. This was designed by Sticky. The guy who makes these Lambretta manuals and also the Bible that changed my entire life when it comes to messing around with scooters. So he's a respected guy on the scooter scene. And uh, together with a fella called Sam Wheeler uh, from TSR, the Scooter Republic, they came up with this little gadget here. Now uh, I'll do a little bit of an unboxing. It's not the first time it's been opened, uh, trust me. Let's have a look what's, what you get in the in the back. So this costs, I believe, £89 in the UK. So let's open her up. I might even have to hang her down a bit. And when you, what, what you get here is this nifty tool. You get a package that makes things hard to get out of. <laughs> Come on you buddy, there we go. And definitely when you're using your wrong hand. So, put that away. So this kit uh, it has got three articles in it. Now, this is an inclometer, and this is an inclometer or digital protractor. Now, on the, on the interwebs, there's a lot of people saying, oh, what a rip off, oh, it's so expensive. Uh, these things are nothing new for me. I, I've been using them to time engines for about uh, five, six years, something like that. And the old one that I had, that only went up to 90 degrees. And when you're timing your scooter, uh, it's it's a lot lot easier if you've got 360 degrees because when you're going to find top dead center you can uh, go from one end all the way to the other and it's uh, it's pretty nifty I've been uh, searching on the internet to see if I can find uh, find out how much this one uh, costs but the only one that I found that looks exactly the same as this with obviously without the buzz wangler meter uh, buff on it uh, cost 20 pounds but that one only did 90 degrees so the problem is if you go out on the internet and just buy one then you could end up risking getting a really really crap one and the nice thing about this I think yep it's still got batteries in it so I've had this for well over a year and I've timed and I've timed uh, about 15 engines in total. I even timed my BSA with this. <laughs> because it's uh, magnetic, I could just stick it on the on the crankshaft and uh, span it around. It, <laughs> it works for that as well. Anyway, so that's the inclometer by itself. So that's, it just saves you a lot of messing around trying to find out which one uh, is the right one for you to use. But this is not the ingenious bit of the of the kit. This, on the other hand, is really what you're paying for. Absolutely brilliant piece of kit. What it does is secures the it secures into the flywheel and gives you a really sturdy platform to uh, put the inclometer on. And this tool holds the inclometer really well, and it also does as we mentioned, 360 degrees. Now I'm not gonna show you how to use this. You can, uh, I can, actually I'll put a link at the bottom of the video so you can have a look on uh, the guy who invented it actually explaining how to use it, which is, <laughs> is a lot easier than uh, me messing around with, 
with my scooters today. So the nice thing about that, like I said, very sturdy platform. And the other cool thing is you can use this on loads of different scooters and even a couple of Yamahas. So I've used it on the uh, Castletronic, the Vespatronic, I've used it on BGM flywheel and an Indian flywheel. Have I, am I missing any? Mm, probably some others as well. So it's got a really wide spectrum of what you can use it on. And another nice little thing there is, turn it around, you can see there's a bolt in here. So whichever threads you're using, you can tighten it up against the flywheel nut. You don't even if you don't even have to take out the uh, the flywheel nut. You just uh, screw it straight in and tighten it up. Job done. Really, really brilliant. That's that's a great bit of kit. The other tool is the piston stop, and this makes it easy to find top dead center, which is pretty essential when you're uh, gonna time your time your scooter. Now this is double ended. It comes with uh, 14 mil and 10 mil threads. So it'll fit at least a million different things. It even fits my BSA. And it's adjustable. When I first used this tool, I found it pretty useless. The reason for that is because when I was trying to thread it into the, into the cylinder through the cowl, I just couldn't get enough purchase on the top here. And obviously when you've got the wing nut on, you can't get to it with a spanner either. So I ended up ditching it and using the standard type positive stop tool. But looking around on the old internet there, uh, the guy who designed this has come up with a, an ingenious way that you can actually use this tool after all. And uh, if you're one of the people that bought the first batch that came out, then uh, the tip for that is actually this which will probably cost you nothing, you have these in your toolbox. So what you do is thread thread the nut on the end. You find out like the reasonable the reasonable length you need it and you simply thread on the little uh, nut on the top and that means you can actually screw it in with a wing nut. <laughs> Why I didn't think of that is beyond me but that's that's life in it. When uh, in the heat of the battle I just thought sod it and I just grabbed the old uh, positive stop. Another well thought out feature on this tool is the groove in the threads here and that basically means that you can turn the engine round by hand on the on the flywheel because it lets out the compression so yeah it's really really handy. This tool in my eyes is, is pretty good value for money. I've seen a lot of people on the interwebs crying because you can get hold of a inclometer or a digital protractor to cheap money. But it's the it's a platform that does it. And if you don't have a top dead center tool, then it's really it's really a no-brainer because you're gonna be coming up to the same amount of money and you haven't got the tool and no way to secure it properly onto the onto the scooter. So basically, you can throw away your uh, old degree disc. This is obviously more expensive than a degree disc and a piston stop tool. But if you like to mess around with scooters and you're the jack the lad that always runs down to your mates when they're in trouble, and you're the, you're the go-to guy in the club when it comes to mechanical stuff, then actually this tool is fully recommended. And I want to give it 10 out of 10 kickback garage stickers. See you in the next video. Hello and welcome to Kickback Garage. Today we're going to have a review.